Happy Thursday. So as promised, here is your phonics video for today, which is Thursday. Now I am a little bit ahead because I don't have that fast forwarding thing that some YouTubers have. I'm not super official as a YouTuber just yet. Anyway, um, you can see that I colored my picnic tablecloths and then I glued them. I overlapped them actually. I left the white edge on one and glued the other one on top of that white edge. And then I glued them both to my big paper. So you'll have to pause the video and take some time to do it. It took me like eight minutes to do the red coloring. And so this looks like our picnic tablecloth, which you'll notice the squares repeat, 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 making it a tessellation. Very good. So you have just made a tessellation. So we did a little math with our phonics even. All right, I was just going down the corners because it was bugging me. And you'll see that I put a title, Synonym Sandwich. Synonym Sandwich. And Antonym Ants. And then please your name. So go ahead and pause the video and take some time and get this picnic table on your picnic table cloth on your big white paper. Your title and your name. If you are ready and caught up, then you will notice that I have cut out my two ants, and with the extra white paper that was around them, I just made two rectangles on their backs. They say ants can carry six times their weight, so we're having these two carry six blanks. And you'll notice that I labeled them one, two, three, for three words four, five, and six for the other three words. Okay, if you need to pause to take time to do that, that's fine. Again, just cut out your ants. And with the extra white paper, I just used the trash that would have been trash and made my workspace. And then you have your cheeseburger, your sandwich, Okay, so I labeled my bun one, two, three, four, five, and six all the way down. And that's where we're going to write our words. Now, I haven't colored this yet. I like to color it last. So now we're going to begin working. Now, our words today that we are going to compare with synonyms and antonyms are large and small. Okay? Pretty common, some younger than nine-year-old words, large, small. What are some synonyms for large? So some words that mean the same as large. What about big? Mm, giant. We are expanding our vocabulary here. Um, Huge. Good. What about enormous? Good. Um, what else could we do with large? So if you have Google, you can Google synonyms for large. Let's see what we come up with. Google synonyms for large. Hmm, look at that. I got a whole list here. Big, great, huge, sizable, substantial, immense. Ooh, I like that one. Immense. Just very, very big. Um, we didn't use great. I don't like great that much for this assignment. Let's see. Look, there's more. Colossal. Massive. Mammoth. Uh, tremendous. Gigantic, which is similar to giant. Monumental. Uh, elephantine. That's cute. Titanic. Lofty, mighty, epic, 
king size. I know you can't really read my phone, but hopefully you're able to Google. Unlimited. Um, considerable. Considerable, excuse me. Major. Humongous. That one sounds like huge. Similar there. Astronomical. Ginormous. Wow, these are some big words. Mm, abundant. Plentiful. Bountiful. Overflowing. Okay, there are plenty of words there for you to pick from. So you get to pick number six on your own. If you want to pick something different than I did on five, that's fine. I'm going to pick cool. Colossal. I like that one. Okay. Now we're going to switch gears. Sandwich. That's a big sandwich. Our ants are rather small. So now we're thinking of words that are similar to small because those are opposite of the large words. So synonyms on the sandwich for large and opposite words for large on the ants. So we need words that mean small. What about tiny? Um, itty bitty. Uh, we. Little. Oh, there's one. Little. And then in the very same place I was on Google. I'm sorry, my screen is, is bright. I went all the way down, and it said opposites. Small, thin, meager, scanty, trivial, and petty. Oh, that's pretty cool. So it gave me some opposites. So did I do small? Well, small is my core word. Thin, that means skinny. Meager, I like that one. meager. There's also trivial. We can type in synonyms for small or you can type in antonyms for large. Some of the suggestions are little, compact, portable, miniature or mini, minor, trifling, insignificant, trivial. Oh my goodness. I really like that miniature word. That works for me. You're welcome to use your Google to find your own number five and six. Okay, my ants are going to invade the picnic. We'll have to figure out where to put them here in a minute. They possibly could go at the bottom or at the top if you want, if you don't want them to hang off. Um, you can find them, obviously they're large ants, so you could write on there. And then on your sandwich, we're going to have to make some color. I'm actually going to move my ants away. I've got my marker here. See, this is a tomato. Not to look like one, you know. Okay. Um, let's see. I chose markers today. Oh, you know what? There's no green. I bet somebody up in my house already had the green because that's his favorite color. I got a bun. I'm not going to color it too dark because I want to be able to read my work. And I don't like my bun toasted. I'm going to add a little yellow there. And my big bun. If you're using crayons, that's perfectly fine. This slice is cheese, so it needs to be solid yellow. Enormous cheese. And this is your patty. That's why I didn't want to make my bun all brown. Now, if I color it completely brown, you're not going to be able to see my work, so I'm going to stay to the edge of my work there. And then this one is green. Let me see in this room if I can find a green. Here, green, green, green. I need you for just a minute, green. Oh, I guess what I found. Probably is a dry green, but we'll take it. 
for the lettuce. Oh, it worked. I know I colored really fast there. Okay, so now you just need to cut out your sandwich and assemble it. You're really just pretty much cutting it out like it is. And then stacking the pieces on top of each other a little bit better than the space they currently have. Your cutting doesn't have to be perfect. The point of this project is not your coloring and your assembling, but rather your understanding of synonym and antonym. So an antonym is going to be the opposite in meaning from the word you're looking up or wanting to use. A synonym is going to have the same or a similar meaning to the word you're wanting to use. So synonym, same, antonym, opposite. And you were able to complete your phonics workbook earlier in the week and hopefully that reviewed this topic for you. All right, here's my sandwich. I'm going to leave it like it is. Usually I have like a big plate for this assignment. You guys get to put your, your uh, work on a plate. I got my sandwich over here. No, you know what? It's a synonym sandwich here. I could either put my sandwich in the middle and have my ants on there. They're big. They have to, they have to, oh, I could scoot them like that. Yeah, or even under there. Or I could put my sandwich here and my ants here. I think this is going to work better for me because I have synonym sandwich written over there. So when you have a big project, sometimes you have to take a break from cutting or coloring and make your plan stand. And I decided that I, I do want my sandwich a little bit smaller. I don't want all that space in between. Nobody wants a sandwich with space in between. So what we will do is glue our sandwich in order and then glue our ants down. If you have any questions on this really cool assignment, this is a big assignment, but I'm sure you got it down just fine. Uh, let me know. I'm going to continue to cut out these and then I'll send you a picture of my final, final poster. Have a good day and I don't know about you, but this assignment made me hungry. I'm going to go get a snack.